guys, nice to see you again. Uh, thank you for watching Cooking with an Italian. Guys, today, uh, just for you guys, again, charcuterie. We're going to make salami. Look here, the stuff is already ready to, to, to start. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to make the my version, the Piero version of finocchiona. Finocchiona is going to be fennel salami. It's typical from uh, Tuscan, absolutely delicious. What we need, guys? We need 20, 30 ml of uh, red wine, 29 grams of sea salt. This is a three and a half grams of black pepper. Here we have two grams of cloves, two grams of uh, garlic powder, and 15 grams of wild fennel seeds. Okay, the smell I can feel from here is absolutely mwah, delicious. I love it. We need some skin. Ask your butcher or online. Maybe we can help you ask us as well. This is a kilo of pork means I did 600 gram of shoulder, 350 gram of belly and 50 gram of pure fat means all together this time we don't cut the dice means all together this is fine means but you can uh, do cops as well no no problem the first thing we're gonna do guys take a little bowl with uh, with water and I like a, a, a tablespoon of uh, vinegar inside or lemon, if you like, we give that uh, disinfect. Put this inside and leave in the water, okay? And this is the first thing we do. Now we're gonna mix. I use this bowl just to make mess, okay? The main inside. Take your time, no rush. And we're gonna use uh, all this spicy now, you know? Salt. Salt, guys, is important to the rabbi sea salt, okay? And always, guys, if you like this video, share with friends, subscribe on the channel, check out our website, cookingwithanitalian.com. Now, we're going with pepper, cloves. Always I have a problem with this. The garlic, okay. good, good. Kuh. Ah, good. Okay, and uh, I have my camera woman. He, she always teach me new words. Okay. Now fennel inside. I know it's a lot, but the main uh, ingredient here is fennel. Okay. Okay. Now, ah, we're gonna use some string. You know? And uh, this uh, skin I have is uh, quite large. I'm gonna fill up that skin by hands. Okay? Now, mix very well everything. Start. You know? You know, you're gonna squeeze the meat like this. Do this, this is the job you're gonna do. Okay? Do nice when you take all the spicy here. We're gonna. Add the red wine. This is a, a delicious red wine. Okay, use good one. Wine inside. And now, guys, take your time. Time. When you're gonna be all together here, I'm gonna take around ten minutes. Mix very well, and I'm gonna show you the second step. Okay, guys. 15 minutes, you're gonna have a nice mix, you know? I uh, use always this bowl, I put on the side. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna prepare uh, a second skin. What I recommend you to do is try to find the... Yeah. Ah, they do, I don't see, where is that the wine? Okay, 
This one, guys, you see? We have a hole here. You know, like that. Now, take your string, take a little bit, something like this. Yep. And do block the side, okay? Like this. Do it again. Here you can do something like this. Where we gonna hang? Hey, always, guys. This one, thinking where you gonna think because this you gonna put in the fridge gonna be at least uh, four weeks. Okay, you need the space in the fridge. We gonna do the fermentation. You know, gonna be when we fill up this skin, gonna be around. 24, 48 hours, room temperature. Now it's quite warm here where I live. It's around uh, 24, 26 degrees is good because they they gonna ferment it, okay? You see, always? And now guys, slowly, slowly, this is uh, even too long, but I do this. To more to be more easy okay take your meat now and slowly slowly you can use a, a spoon or just put inside like that okay take your time you know we're gonna fill up all the 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 skin nice and tidy don't push too much because it's delicate you know sometimes do this You know, when start you you start to see too much air inside. Where is the mine? Hmm. Use one toothpick. toothpick and make a hole, okay? And push down a little bit like this, and carry on with the meat inside. Always, guys, when you do this stuff, you know, you want to do with with love and, uh, and, and need to uh, take your time, okay? If someone have the machine, but uh, uh, I, I don't have a machine. We, I like to do this stuff very old-fashioned. Huh? Okay, take your time. When uh, the, the my salami, they ready. Uh, I'm gonna show you when we're gonna, we're gonna tidy up again. You see, again, this stuff happen. And what you're gonna do, just I go down. This is very important, guys, okay? Okay, see you when the, the salami is all, uh, all inside. And I'm gonna show you the next. Okay, guys, you see, the my Fino Tuna, just press gentle. You know, uh, always help yourself with this. This is very important. Try to do everyone. Well. Now, we gonna put another string from the other side. Because I wanna show you one. It's good you do this. Take a little bit of meat, like this. You can come from me, Azuzi, you know. You can take some meat like this and go down because you make sure, you know, tidy stronger and again inside this meat. You take out from this side. You can do another, you know, you can hanging the from each side. You know, look. Oh, little beautiful is. Look at that. You know, this one now, uh, you can cut, not all, leave a little bit. From the other side as well. Yeah. 
show you one is done. Guys, the salami is done. Now I'm going to make a, maybe another one or two. If the sides you're gonna make up to you, uh, the space you have in the fridge. When uh, I finish my salami, I show you the last thing we're gonna do, okay? See you when uh, everything is ready. Guys, look how amazing they are. Uh, from that kilo, I, I did this three salami. They're beautiful. The smell is very really super nice. Always when you do this stuff, try to like uh, it's gonna be hobby, like passion. You know, you need to take your time. And always, if you see some hole, I did a raw a lot. You know, the hair you have to pop it. Okay. Now, what we gonna do now? We gonna leave this to dry a little bit. Call uh, fermentation uh, step. I, I have my bamboo. I put them like this, large, they don't want to touch. And I'm uh, going to put this in the, I have one spare room. And uh, I have put this in the room, put some uh, tray underneath because they're going to lick it. And I do not leave them. Uh, two days, 48 hours, because I like we're gonna try, and after this, we're gonna put in the fridge. The, the challenge is we're gonna do this salami in normal fridge. A lot of people they spend thousand for the fridge, but we do this in the normal fridge. If you follow me, it's over 30 years I do this, guys. I just for my family, and they love this salami anyway. Now fermentation 48 hours and I'm gonna show you the next step always when you will enjoy when you do this and see you in a couple of days okay okay guys after 48 hours the salami look come here is like the nice dry and what I want now this they going in the fridge like here yeah, sure at least they're going in the fridge four to five weeks make uh, your space i use this like this i use usually i do that you know it's that oh it's that you know i have more salami here pancetta lardo you know all the stuff we make uh, put them in the fridge and see you in uh, four or five weeks to try it okay guys after five weeks my finocchiona the fennel salami is for i think is ready now we're going to test it the smell and the, i don't believe in the normal fridge we can do this look it's absolutely stunning now we're gonna cut it uh, uh, whoop. it's Look, absolutely, the smell, guys, you, you don't believe. Now, we try. The skin off. We try. The best is always with some bread. Like this, Italian style. Already, uh, I know it's delicious. Mm. Guys, I'm sorry, it's absolutely wow, soft and um, wow. It's another masterpiece. Well done, Piero. I don't believe. Look, look at that. This is so wow, fantastic, guys. Try it. Let me know if you if you like. But the finocchiona or the fennel salami is this. 
Guys, if you like, always finger up and follow us. Ciao!